Hi everyone, I'm back with episode 12 of the Vintage Made Modern series. Today we're going to talk about the November chapter, which is a thimble full of gratitude. So we're going to start out by, I'm going to share with you, as I've explained before, we have a modern notion, which is a essay that I've written reflecting on Mary Brooks Pickens' vintage essay that you'll find. And um, for this opener, there's a really interesting piece of a linen embroidery here that I'm going to share some of my collection um, of pieces similar to this. But I first want to take a look um, and read you this little um, uh, excerpt here from Mary Brooks Pickin, dated 1924. If deep in our hearts we are grateful in proportion to the good that is ours, then we are sure to know the kind of peace and thanksgiving that can make us kin to all the world. Mary Brooks Pickin. So this um, actual image was, this is the original piece um, that we scanned and you can see it's an applique, probably a little um, table mat, maybe for your tea or coffee. And the blanket stitch is what is used to apply these f flowers. And you can see the leaves and the vines. And what I love when I find pieces like this is the color that you see in um, some of these pieces is just really, uh, interesting and unique and um, and quite charming. And ironically, I have several of these pieces in my collection. I have a, a smaller version here of a similar um, design, a little different flower. And then this, again, when we talk about color, this is a little brighter than the first one that we used. Um, and then I also found at one point um, a set of napkins that had various um, colors of flowers on them. And just thought I'd share some of that beautiful hand work um, from my vintage collection. And so the palettes each month change. And since we're in November um, and fall, you can see the palette of color. And we chose fabrics. This is a vintage fabric that I had found um, that ended up bordering one of the pages. Here we have a really nice image that was featured on the cover of an inspiration newsletter. And the Be Grateful is the essay this month. And again, this is Mary Brooks Pickens' words of wisdom. She, um, I'll read you just a little quote from, or from this essay that I, that was one that we drew out in the, as a graphic in the book. And it says, and there you have it, service to others, mine to you, yours to me and others, and with so on without end. That is the secret of success. So love Mary's inspiration. And we go on to have an article about Thanksgiving in the inspiration department. And you can, again, I've showed you many times the graphics that are um, featured in the book and how charming they are. This is an image of a couple walking to church. And of course, well, for Thanksgiving, we have to talk about the Department of Cookery, right? And what we have here is cranberries, some delicious recipes talking about cranberry sauce and, and various um, cranberry meringue pie. This image too, I thought is particularly charming with um, uh, the apron, um, the cookbook, and this darling illustration of one of the, um, probably could be one of, inspired by one of the members of the Women's Institute. So this was the Department of Cookery. We of course are getting ready for Christmas. So we have some um, ideas for Christmas gifts handkerchiefs, smart bags, and a child's toy bag. And this is a fun, fun page in the book. Little gifts for little fingers. 
So again, um, the idea of embroidery and what I'm going to show you here is the actual um, apron that, that those images um, came from. This is a just a simple white apron with a, a little pocket, um, but I think the fun cups and saucers dancing across the, the um, bodice or the um, front of the apron bib, that's the word I was looking for, the bib of the apron are, are quite charming. And here you can see, again, um, the little faces on the, the plate in the cup and saucer. So that is um, featured in this ch chapter. Um, and then I wanna get back to the book and talk to you about the magic pattern too. Um, so here we are, switching gears. Um, we also have, um, well, this is an important thing at, th thing at Thanksgiving. It's, this is the, the Department of Good Looks and, um, tips for calming your nerves, um, through, during the holiday season. And this was a fashion service article. Moving on. So you want to read those tips. Keep, keep your peacefulness through the season. And then, of course, um, fashion is always something that is a part of the chapters of the Vintage Notions book. And this is the Department of Millinery. And dress up hats for the holidays. So you can see the um, graphics along the side of the very stylish hats of the day. And then actually we added the definitions, um, cloche, um, around the border there. So the page is, I think, has a nice design to it. I thought, well, we'll share share with you some of the Indigo Junction's um, hats that have been popular. And to start out with, I'm gonna grab the patterns here. Um, and this, first we have the banded beret. And so the fun thing about this particular um, version of the pattern is that this, is actually a flannel shirt that was recycled into the banded beret. And you can see we added a really um, unique mother of pearl button there too, to the bow. So this hat is pretty simple to make. It has a little elastic in the back that allows for adjustment for size. Um, and again, I'll just show you how much fun you can take one of those um, uh, Pendleton, beautiful Pendleton wool, maybe shirts that might have a hole in it and repurpose it into a fun hat. Now you can make this version and you could do it also. Let me get my little bag of, or my little um, collection of hats out to talk about. Um, let's see. First off, I'm going to show you the pattern cover of the... Um, this is the pattern cover of the hat I just showed you and the banded beret. And here is a version, another recycled version that we created that is out of denim. So keep that in mind that you, how accessible is denim as a fabric to be able, you might have a pair of jeans right in your closet, you can cut up and make this hat. So um, again, this is an indigo junction pattern. And we also have the classic or excuse me, yes, the classic cap. And um, that we've also done in denim. So why don't I show you that first? Um, well, do I have that in denim? Yes, I do. Here it is. Um, so many fun samples to share. This is um, also a different variation on a flower that we have with this hat. And you can see in the denim how a little elastic in the back. And then you can have a lot of fun with your lining. We used a, a batik here to line it with a cotton batik, but that's our classic cap. And again, another recycling idea is maybe a men's suit, man's suit coat that you find um, that you can upcycle. And again, a cute little button that we've added. So, of course, you could get black jeans and do a black denim. 
Um, or you could again find a pair of maybe trousers that had a nice plaid and um, cut them up. Hopefully you don't take them out of somebody's closet that is gonna miss those, but um, I wanted to give you those ideas for patterns and thing, hats that you can make up. So that's the banded basket and classic cap. One more time. All right, so on to the magic pattern, right? We have an apron. It's that time of season, the season where you're gonna wanna have a pretty apron to wear for hosting um, holiday events. And of course, um, it's also what we give you the idea for in the book is that it can be a hostess gift for the holidays. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of gifts whether you make one of the magic pattern aprons or you find one, an indigo junction pattern that you like, we've got a ton of great aprons and that are for every, um, every style, really lots of variety. And so this is the hostess for the holiday. And you can see, um, again, last month or last episode, we talked about bias tape. And here you can see where this um, version of the apron I actually have right here. And you can see where it has finished with bias um, tape around the edge. So again, this is the pattern for the this month's magic pattern. And what I like about this apron too, I talk about um, aprons that don't bind you behind the neck. And this is a nice one because it has over the shoulder straps. It also has pockets on the sides. It has a gathered pocket on the side. And um, so it's a really nice style of apron, comfortable and easy to wear. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about buttons. And if you know how much I love vintage buttons, you might be aware of my book that I did called Buttonware. So this is a book that gives you lots and lots of different ideas for ways to turn your treasured buttons or found collections that you have into jewelry, into wearables, lots of fun ideas, little ornaments you can make with buttons. And on the page of this is chapter, we have some um, Bakelite buttons that are featured. So I thought I'd pull a few of my Bakelite buttons from my collection um, and show them to you. So, and give you an idea of something fun you can do with your buttons maybe. So we, what we have here, I'll show you these four that I, that I um, pulled out of my collection. And then this is a bracelet that you can see where we stacked buttons and um, created um, a fun bracelet. And I know I probably actually bought this bracelet maybe at um, maybe at Quilt Festival in Houston. Or, um, but the idea I think is pretty straightforward and simple and fun. So I say, you know, if you like Bakelite or collecting vintage, this is a fun way to showcase your buttons and keep the book in mind as it gives lots of ideas for various ways to make button bracelets. One more thing to show you. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I've shared it. Each season has a pocket in the Vintage Notions book. And um, so we're, uh, we're moving towards winter right now, but if you can see that the pocket is here and this is a great place if you have say favorite Thanksgiving recipes you want to use year after year you could keep them in this little pocket or fabric swatches of maybe a fabric that you're is a favorite so this um was a pillow actually this piece of art that you see here um and I'm going to share with you the original which is part of the fun we have or I have doing this with the Vintage Notion series um, or the Vintage Made Modern series. So here you go. This was a pillow cover with applique flowers. And when I found this, what caught my attention was just the simplicity of it. It felt a little modern and um, the color, of course. And my guess is this little, the stems we hear, see here on this pillow are actually bias trim. So another idea for bias for you. Well, 
I'll end it now and say thank you. I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving if that's around the corner while you're watching. And I also want to tell you to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Follow us on we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we have a newsletter that we send out as well. So please um, follow along and subscribe to the channel to keep up with our new videos. Thanks for watching.